Hey guys, it's Jenny Silver, and today I have an update for those of you who have been waiting for the EIDL Advance Grants to become available on the SBA's website. Many people have been waiting for the EIDL Advance Grant to become available on the SBA's website. The SBA did release information to several news sites that they would be opening it up around January 17th, but it is clearly past the 17th. Today is January 20th, and we still do not not have the application for the EIDL Advanced Grant Live. So I want to be real clear to you guys. If you go to the SBA's website right now, you will see the EIDL loan application. Previously, the Advanced Grant was a part of the loan application. There was a little box that you could check on there that yes, you did want to receive the EIDL Advanced Grant. But right now, the EIDL Advanced Grant is not back up and running. So do not apply yet unless you just want to receive the loan. Now we do not have a date released yet from the SBA as to when the advance grant will become available for application. We also don't have the new guidance issued by the SBA stating exactly how the program will be implemented. But what we do have today as of January 20th is that the SBA has updated their website with a little bit of additional EIDL advance grant information. So oh, I wanted to share this with you guys because I know many of you are waiting and want to apply as soon as possible. So I just wanted to show you the most recent update on the SBA's website. So the new section that gives information about the EIDL that has been added to the SBA website as of today, January 20th, can be found on the page that I'm linking in the video description. Now if you scroll down to about the middle of the information on the EIDL, you will see the targeted EIDL advance. It states here, COVID-19 targeted EIDL advance was signed into law on December 27, 2020 as part of the Economic Aid to Hard Hit Small Businesses, Nonprofits, and Venues Act. The targeted EIDL advance provides businesses located in low-income communities with additional funds to ensure small business continuity, adaptation, and resiliency. Now, if you don't know if you are in a low-income community, I'm going to show you exactly how you can break that down. Now, there's a complicated way to do it, and there's an easy way to do it. If you want to down download an app called Hello Skip. They have created an app that not only sends you updates on EIDL Advance Grant, but it also uh, calculates for you based on your business address, or if you're a sole proprietor, your home address, because that would be where you are registered as doing business. Um, so it can calculate that automatically for you and let you know based on region based on recent census data if you qualify. If you want to do the calculation yourself, I do have a video that shows you exactly how to do it, linked in the video description below. Advance funds of up to $10,000 will be available to applicants located in low-income communities who previously received an EIDL advance for less than $10,000. We have been waiting on the SBA's guidance on exactly how the EIDL advance grant will be implemented. Keep in mind this stimulus bill released this is a lot of the powers of control over exactly how the program is implemented over to the SBA. It is the SBA's job to issue guidance on exactly how the program will be implemented. Now, because the SBA has not yet released guidance on exactly how the program is to be implemented and carried out, we don't have confirmation that there will be a full $10,000 received by every company and self-employed individual that meets these qualifications. The language of the bill text made it seem as if individuals would qualify for the full $10,000. However, we do need to see the guidance from the SBA on this. Now notice that this website states up to $10,000. So that still doesn't give us confirmation if individuals and small businesses will be receiving the full $10,000 for everyone, or if it is still going to be based on a sliding scale. Now what this does show us is that the SBA is going to be issuing these advance grants in a certain order. First, they state here that those individuals who did apply and did receive a partial up to $10,000 grant. So if you received $1,000 because you had one employee, etc., if you qualify again, then you will be of the first individuals to receive the additional funds that are available to you. So also included in this first group of individuals that are going to get the first dibs on this EIDL advance grant is going to be individuals who applied previously and were denied the advance 
advance grant because they ran out of funds. They then go on to state, applicants do not need to take any action at this time. SBA will reach out to those who qualify. So for those of you who are wondering if the SBA will be contacting you, yes, they will be contacting you if you previously applied, if you were awarded the grant, but you may qualify for more, or if you applied, checked the box to receive the grant, but the grant had been used up and all the funds had been depleted. The SBA states here that they will be contacting you. SBA will first reach out to EIDL applications that already received a partial EIDL advance between $1,000 to $9,000. Applicants will be contacted directly by the SBA via email in the coming weeks with instructions to determine eligibility and submit documents. Communications from the SBA will be sent from official government email with an at sba.gov ending. Here they reiterate the qualifications, stating that you must be in a low income community as defined by the RRS. You must be able to demonstrate more than 30% reduction in revenue in an eight week period beginning on March 2nd, 2020 or later. If an applicant meets the low income community criteria, they will be asked to provide gross monthly revenue all forms of combined monthly earnings received, such as profits or salaries, to confirm the 30% reduction. They then go on to talk about a second group of people that is going to be the next in line to receive the EIDL advance grant. Next, SBA will reach out to those who applied for EIDL assistance on or before December 27, 2020, but did not receive an EIDL advance grant due to lack of program funding. These applicants will receive an email from SBA with instructions to determine eligibility and submit documentation. Applicants may qualify for a targeted EIDL advance if they meet the above criteria. So if you applied for EIDL on December 27th or earlier, then you will be in the next batch of applicants that will be reached out to by the SBA. They state here that you're going to be asked to provide an IRS form 4506T. Now this form is basically something that grants permission for the SBA to access your tax returns through the IRS. What they don't address here is new applicants. They do not address anyone who applied after December 27th for the loan, but didn't have the option to apply for the grant. And they do not address new applicants, those who have yet to apply, who are waiting to see this application go live. But it seems to be that that will be the next update on information, that, there's, that they will be processing these first two groups initially, and then they will move on to open up the application for all. That's my guess based on the information that they have provided here. Okay, you guys, so we're gonna continue to be on the lookout on the SBA website for them to issue guidance on the EIDL Advance Grant. Once they have issued that guidance, I'll provide an update video letting you know exactly what it says, what sort of requirements it states, deadlines, et cetera. We're also gonna be on the lookout on the SBA for additional updates to include that third group of applicants, those of you ha that have never applied for an EIDL Advance Grant who are waiting to have the application available. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful. Just wanted to give you a quick update on that information that has been shared since the SBA has been quite cryptic and slow with this program. Hope that was helpful. Please click like, subscribe, and leave me a comment down below.